Welcome back. It's time now for On the Radar, when we ask an investing professional what they're looking at in today's markets. We're back again with Nadia Lovell. She's Senior U.S. Equity Strategist for Global Wealth Management at UBS. And we're going to talk, uh, Nadia, about uh, your views of the U.S. housing sector and why uh, you and your team at UBS like the uh, prospects for housing-related stocks. Yes, absolutely. I mean, this is one of our focus for this year. A lot of this has to do with just favorable demographic trends. You, know, you have over 70 million Americans that are in that prime home buying age of late 20s, early 30s. As we know, like millenniums are the largest generation uh, in uh, history. And you have about 70 percent of them that are in that home buying age in the younger demographics. But there isn't enough supply to meet that demand. I mean, some estimates would put that there's a deficit in the market of anywhere between 2 million to 6 million homes. Some of this has to do with the fallout from the great financial crisis and the bursting of the housing bubble that really caused a pullback in new home development. But more recently, it's been mortgage rates. I mean, mortgage rates are high, and what it's done is affect household affordability. And also, reality is this powerful lock-in effect. So a lot of existing home owners are locked in very low interest rates, very low mortgage rates, and don't want to give that up. And so it's caused a depressed in terms of inventory in the existing home markets. We think that the worst is behind us, and we're actually starting to already see some improvement as mortgage rates come off of their highs. We're already seeing that the uh, existing home market jumped, the sales jumped 3% in January, and we think that it's going to get better as mortgage rates come down and as we hit those warmer months um, uh, over the next few months. And we you see a pickup in housing activity, which will be positive for the housing stocks. As always in the U.S. stock market, this uh, sector is a, is a diverse sector. There are publicly traded home builders. There are uh, home improvement retailers like uh, Lowe's and Home Depot. There are other types of uh, companies uh, that trade publicly that in one way or another uh, are, are plays on the housing sector. Are there, are there uh, groups within the, the housing-related stocks that you favor? I know you don't want to talk about individual stocks, but are there groups within the sector that you like particularly? Paul, you hit the name, uh, the nail on the head, you know, um, without me mentioning specific stocks. Those are some of the things that we do have in mind in terms of as we see mortgage rates come down, right now prevailing mortgage rates are close to 7%. We think that that's going to get down to 55 to 6% by the time we get to the end of the year, and that should help fuel additional activity. The new, uh, the home builders, we think that there are opportunities here. Not only are the home builders benefited from the low inventory in the existing home market, but they're also been able to use their scales to be able to uh, navigate supply chains this disruption as, as well as high inflation. And at the same time, they've been able to offer incentives to buyers like mortgage buy down. So we think that there's opportunities there. But we also think that there are opportunities within the home improvement names as well as the material names and, uh, and um, building material tools as well as some of the mortgage originators and insurers should be able to benefit from a pickup in mortgage activity. You know, as I noted earlier, with mortgage rates um, locked in so low over the during the pandemic, uh, you could see when those rates come down that a portion of the outstanding mortgage would be in the money for refinance. We estimate about 10% of mortgages could be in the money for refinance. So that should also help some pickup in mortgage activity. But a lot of this is going to be driven by new home buyers and not so much refinancing activity on the mortgage side. 